Hello guys, welcome back to Concrete Elbow. Before I continue to the video, I just want to say that this is just my theory about this match. I'm not going to go too deep into the technical analysis, because one, I don't have the knowledge for it, and two, it's Pep's job anyway. So let's get right into it. About four months ago, Devin and Levan had a left hand sparring session at the Fighter Cell house. At that time, Levan was fresh, but he got this never healing shoulder injury on his left arm. Levan did get stem celled in that same week for his injured right wrist and also his left shoulder, but in this this video that you're seeing right now, Levan was still injured, kinda, I guess. Now Devin on the other hand, as far as I know, doesn't have any significant injuries, both on his right and left. It's just that he was not fresh. Devin pulled some other guys with both his right and left for like almost 30 minutes prior. Now the sparring session itself. In total, they pulled for 4 rounds, and Levan pinned Devin every single time. But I noticed a few things from those 4 rounds. In round 1, Devin was just testing Levan's left hand. Nothing serious, he just wants to know how strong it is compared to his right. Devin got pinned instantly because Levan's side pressure, back pressure, hand and wrist are all too strong for him. But I think Devin realized something, because he was saying this right before round 2 started. <laughs> In round 2, seems like Devon tried engaging his pronator more, and looks like it worked. Levan's wrist clearly got cracked. It's just that Devon didn't have enough arm power, and Levan's left arm was still too strong for him. So Devon got his arm straightened and gets pinned right away. In round 3, Devon tried something different. He attempted to go offensive against Levan. It didn't work though because Levan didn't budge. After that, Devon basically was just waiting for Levan to attack while at the same time, still tried to engage his pronator. Devon wants to know what's gonna happen if he tried keeping his pronation while Levan attacks from basically Devon's winning side. Almost. And the answer is Levan's wrist did get cracked once again. But still, Devon not enough arm power. But the thing is, Devon's pad was on the wrong side. And Devon realized it after he gets pinned and jokingly said this. Oh, hey, my pad's in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna make all the difference. There right? you go. This is what the problem was. It may sound just like a fun excuse, but I do think it could have probably affected the outcome differently. Because this way, Devon's arm could reach further to Levan's side, and at the same time giving Levan a harder time to pin him. Devon definitely was thinking the same as well. In round 4, for some reason Devon attempted going inside with a shoulder press. He shook his head immediately, realizing that no, this lane won't work. Devon still tried doing it anyway, and yeah, it definitely didn't work. Devon then proceeds to do this thing, which I honestly don't know what exactly was Devon trying to do here. Levan pins him anyway, obviously. Now knowing Devon just like my own father, Levan may not realize this, but I know damn well Devon wasn't trying to win against Levan. He was trying to gather as much information as possible for his upcoming rematch. He tested all the angles he could while at the same time not letting Levan know that this was actually his secret weapon. I know this was a left arm sparring session, the strength and power will definitely vary, but it's not like someone would move differently depending on which arm it was. Devon now knows exactly what are his strengths and weaknesses against Levan. This way, Devon won't train the useless angles for this match, for example like pressing and hooking, maybe, possibly. This time, Devon will for sure 100% go outside every time and try to gas Levan out. Pronation, Rising, and Bicep are definitely the three things Devon will try to improve as much as he can, especially as Pronation and Rising, knowing that on Levan's right arm, his wrist is the weakness currently. Levan will definitely train his press too though, but the question is, will it work against Devon, especially when a press is not your ace and you don't really train for it because you never really have to. Overall, I think this match is gonna be a one move from each person kind of match, from round one till the last one. Levan will try to top roll Devon just like at King of the Table 4, and Devon will try to stop Levon with his King's move and gas him out. The difference is, Devon's not gonna get his bicep torn again, and his King's move will definitely be higher this time. The worst that could happen, for me, is 4-3 Devon Larratt.